Welcome to the third episode of Greeting Mashiach. My name is Simcha Fish, and uh, that's Levi Palachenko. And in this episode, we're going to discuss the Rebbe's first mimer, Bas Lagani. It's around the Shvat time now. That's obviously on everyone's minds. And uh, the mission that Rebbe began and started in this, uh, you know, famous first mimer. And uh, where it all came to a head to in the famous Sicha of Parshish Noach Tavshin Nun Beis, uh, more than 40 years later. So, um, Bas Lagani, this is, as uh, you know, I sit in 770 and learn. So, uh, in the upstairs Zal, so, uh, you know, every every five seconds, somebody's coming in with some tour of 770 with their Baal Batim. And uh, they they walk in there, you know, pointing around. Like, oh, this is where the boys used to learn. It's like, you know, we're still learning. This is, this, and they always say, well, this is where the Rebbe said his first mimer. Obviously, most people don't know. They have to try to explain to them mimer, Rebbe, the whole the whole business. They're trying to explain. It's like, this is where it happened. This is where the Rebbe said Basi Lagani. This is this is so to speak, our our whole identity was decided, so to speak, at that moment already. So uh, yeah, what happened there? You know, the Rebbe describes how uh, Hashem creates the world in order to, you know, the Shekhinah wasn't the world, and then through seven Avedis it left, like we mentioned previously, and then seven Tzadikim brought it back down. But then the Rebbe started talking about uh, Chabad in particular, that there are seven Rebbe's in Chabad, and uh, starting with the Alta Rebbe, the Mitla Rebbe, the Tanakh Tzadik Rebbe, Marash Rebbe, the Shab, until the Friedrich Rebbe, and the Maimah the Friedrich Rebbe gave out, that was meant to be given out for his... Uh, was getting be given for his soon to be his stalker, so we, the Rebbe he give it out, be, you know, ahead of time. It should be given out then. And this was this Mamer Bas Lagani, which discusses this whole topic. And the Rebbe says that uh, now we're we're now in the seventh generation. Our generation are tasked with a job to really actually finally bring the Shechina back down to the world. The Alter Rebbe started this final descent of the Shechina into the world, and it's our job. To finish it, and uh, you know, the, the cry during the Fabrengen, and then I said how you know uh, we we didn't necessarily want this job, we didn't ask for this job, but it's the job that's that's given to us, and uh, this this was a pretty massive massive deal because Deba basically was saying that this is going to be the last generation of Golos and the first generation of Gula. A statement that ever repeated many times later, but this was really the essence of the statement that we are going to bring the Gula. It's after thousands of years in Golos, the Rebbe was saying in no uncertain terms, this is it. We're we are and we will do it, brothers after us, there is no others. You want you know, like the song goes, right? We're gonna do it. And this this is this is mind blowing. And in a sense, ever since uh, they say uh, Rav Soloveitchik, when he saw that mimer, he said, oh, this guy thinks that he's Mashiach. You know, already then, he was able to see clearly th- this is where this is headed. This is not going to be a Kipsana, another Rebbe, another nice guy. The, the Rebbe is going to be something we've never seen before. This is not going to be uh, a regular ride. And... Indeed, the Rebbe started making, uh, the Rebbe told us, you know, don't stick any birds in your pockets, which I, I suppose means don't kid yourself. You're going to have to do the work yourself. This isn't going to be easy. I'm not going to be some uh, some Polish Rebbe who's going to take care of, take care of you and you won't have to do anything. We have serious, real, actual work to do, and we're going to get it done. And, and the rest of the Nesias, it was very systematic. The Rebbe sent out Shluchim, and the Rebbe had a, the Rebbe had a plan of action, a plan of attack. He was going to bring the Gula. And um, yeah, and that really changed the whole Chabad trajectory till then. Whereas till then, every you know every Rebbe had their thing. You know, the Alter Rebbe obviously started the whole the whole thing with teaching Chassidus in a way that we could understand in Chabad to re-internalize it. And uh, you know, you know, the Bashem says Mashiach asked Mashiach when will he come, and he said when your wellspring spread forth. And uh, you know, so what does Chutza mean? So. The Alter Rebbe's said it meant to have Shabbos, or maybe to them snagged them a little bit. And each Rebbe had a different uh, avoda. And then came the Rebbe and took Chutz at a crazy extent, literally sending out Shluchim to conquer the the entire world. Um, 
So, the coming again this year, Yud Shvat, we obviously get refocused on the, our dedication to the Rebbe, our connection to the Rebbe, on, and on the mission that started it all of uh, actually bringing Mashiach down into this world. Uh, you have any uh, you have any thoughts to share with us, Levi? And what yeah, this means? So, um, what this means to you? And then uh... what it means to me? Well, um, yeah. So so obviously you know we we learn we learn the the Maimon of the Gani every year, and each each one has a different. Has a different focus from the from the from the first uh, from the original Bas Um but but throughout there's this there's this concept of of this is it right like you said this is we're finishing it we're not we're not there's an we're we're not going any we're not going past me this we're we're stopping we're finishing the mission and yeah like you said the the whole Nasius was towards that end that we're the last generation of Golos. And that's it. There's nothing to talk about. But something interesting that the Rebbe says, not only are we going to be the last generation of Galos, but we're also going to be the first generation of Geula. I think that's also like something powerful that the Rebbe said. It's not, it's not just we're finishing the job. It's not just we're going, to, we're going to end it. We're going to do all the things that we need to do. Rather, we are going to also reap the reward, so to speak. We're going to have our cake and we're going to eat it too. We're going to make the cake. We're going to work hard on doing all the things, but then we're also going to be the first generation of Geula. Like the statement is just a mind-boggling statement. Like pretty wild, and 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 you see that, and and I think I think you know the 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 in in that mimer that I was said how like you said we're not we're not gonna I'm not gonna do everything for you. We're gonna we're gonna work hard. We're gonna work together. We're gonna do it. We're gonna be the ones to do it. And I think that's why. The Rebbe was so the the novelty of the Rebbe was so great was because he wasn't he wasn't about oh it's it's an avoda for the it's a it's a, it's a big thing and I'll and I'll I'll teach you chassidus I'll I'll give you things to do no the goal achieving the goal the Rebbe gave to us pretty much what was he he was there to facilitate us achieving the goal I th- this is my understanding obviously but all the other Rebbeim it was like they were doing their avayda, and we wanted to like to be included in it. So they gave us they they said my marim, they said siches to give us things to do, but like to help, right? Or for our personal avayda, right? daven for hours hours and 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 then learn 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 chassidus in order to better ourselves, to better the world. But it wasn't it wasn't the avayda wasn't a, the avayda of the people. It was avayda of the rebbe. And we were the chassidim of the Rebbe, right? Like, like a, the famous, yeah. What? what uh, you... The statement of of uh, I think it, Jonathan Sachs. No, that the Rebbe didn't create followers; he created leaders. He created what does leader. that mean? Meaning that the, it wasn't the Rebbe's mission, and we were helping in that mission. We were followers of that mission. The Rebbe was the Rebbe was creating. He, the Rebbe was giving us. The Rebbe was empowering us. Right. That's the that's the famous thing of Chabad is empowerment. Mm-hmm. You're the leader. It's your job. It's your, you have to do the work. And that was the Rebbe's biggest thing to us to do the work. So I think that, right, there's, there's an element of that for sure that uh, the Rebbe tasked us with, with actually, you know, doing it ourselves. But there was also a total bitl to the Rebbe that I don't think, and dedication to the Rebbe and connection to the Rebbe that I don't think you had either in previous generations because in previous generations, obviously, I'm not I'm no doctor on souls to tell you how it works, but there was more of a focus on personal, um, personal avoda. And, and, you know, it's not a bad thing. That was that was the job. Then, like you have the story, and the Rebbe, in a sense, was there to facilitate, to help you out, do your avoda, um, which is obviously true. A story of I forgot who a famous chassid. He was on his way to, to uh, wherever it was, either Liadi or Lubavitch. When I don't remember when the story happened, and. Uh, it was a whole big schlep to get there, and he had to make a Zabalagali Meshiga or something. Eventually, he's on his way, and then and he got for Chapin Davin, and the Balagala was like all nervous because he told him the night before, We have to leave early in the morning. There's a Cheshbin, and this guy's sitting there davening for hours. And you know, he only came on tonight that he was gonna daven like a you know, not so long. And after the whole business, when he finished davening, he's like, Okay, let's go back home. He's like, What happened? He's like, I the whole reason I wanted to go to the Rebbe was to help me out, but I so he could dive into work, so I don't, you know, so to speak, I don't, I don't need him anymore. <laughs> so that whole story doesn't really resonate. Uh, sitting today, it's like, what? 
but um, there was a time for people. I, I obviously he was a person of stature. He wasn't a regular, you know, regular chassid. Again, I don't remember who it was, but uh, it was different. It was a different time. It was a different avodah. Not that we shouldn't have him today, and that not that the Rebbe is not here to help us with our avodah, but there's a much greater mission. And for the sake of that, we needed to be involved and get on the task force and really make it all happen. Um, put in the work and put in the hours. Yeah, and Takabi had to become a shluchim and they go all over the world. And it became almost like, yeah, this is normal. Yeah, Chabad. We, <laughs> we're all over the world, you know. It's like you have Chabad and Coca-Cola. But it, it's really a very novel concept that you're looking in Jewish history, you don't have, you know. One of the qualifications for Mashiach is whether he's Yaakov Kali Yisrael, that he compels all the Jewish people to keep Tayyar and Mitzvahs. You know, who, who did that in history? Uh, Chizkiah did it, and Hashem wanted to make a Mashiach. He was the, literally the king, and he forced everyone to learn Tayyar and do Mitzvahs by the edge of the sword. Quite literally, the, you know, uh, Tayyar he was the greatest king who ever was. Um, but how many people throughout history had a handle on all of the Jewish people to compel them to keep Tayyar and Mitzvahs? And uh, the Rebbe took that job. And um, I think it's no stretch to say that the Rebbe has impacted and affected uh, a change for the better, a thought of tshuva, a spark of Judaism in uh, literally every single Jew. I don't think that's too much of a stretch. So uh, right. through through his whole sphere mm -hmm. of, of influence. So that's pretty amazing. And that all started. Yeah, yeah. We're going to celebrate it, or we just celebrate it. Depends when they're listening to this. But yeah, so I think it's, yeah, it, it's it's pretty crazy that, that you know, a lot of people don't, they don't sit and think about the world at large. I think, I think as, as Bachem, I, I, I know this is the, the, the feeling that I get when I'm in yeshiva and I'm talking to Bachem, or at least as, as, as I can remember, um, in yeshiva, you're, you're in that, you're in the bubble of, of learn of of avoda uh, right? You're you're doing you're 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 learning, you're davening, you're doing your thing. But then there's also this, you know, every once in a while you'll go out and you'll do the shlichus because we're in dera at, at, at the end of the day. Um, but a lot of people when they learn the rebbe's maimarim, when they learn especially this maimar of basilagami, it's not they don't think about so much how how like explosive it is. That the Rebbe is saying, and and almost every single sicha that the Rebbe said was explosive, in in some in one way or another, and and um, and like we'll we'll, we'll speak in, a, in in a few moments, the 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 sichas that the Rebbe said in Tavshin and Beis are are each one of them in on its own is is mind is is world shattering is is paradigm shifting, um all the different synonyms that I can say, um but. But a lot of people miss that from the Rebbe because they're still they're still in a in a in a in a world of avoda and 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 like you know how, how, what's the Rebbe what's the Rebbe saying what's what's the chachma of the Rebbe what all these different things that you can take out of the sicha but I, I think and this is from having conversations or or listening to shiur on sichas it's not explosive the Rebbe is not exploding things. Because the Rebbe is saying uh, uh, Rashi says the Rebbe is okay a chiddush here a chiddush there, but these are chiddushim and like chiddush etayra, not like world events and like the Rebbe explaining how the world is different. I feel like it gets lost in translation. What do you mean? So explain explain so your like point. So like this that... like like. Like what we're saying, like what you just said, and what I what, what I attempted to say on with regards to Basilegani, like I, I don't see many people talking about it in such a explosive way. So it way. is. It, so Rebbe's sikhs are or not world shattering? They are world shattering, but many don't see it as world shattering because they're not seeing it that way. They're not using those eyes. They still think uh, uh, that the Rebbe is is like a Rebbe is a Rebbe, and I'm a chassid, I'm a follower. They're not uh, realizing that it's much bigger. Yeah, I. Uh... When you you know a few years ago, a bunch of different biographies of the Rebbe came out. There was the Tolushkin version of the Rebbe, and there was the Chaim Dalton version of the Rebbe, and then there was uh, um, 
Rabbi Sh- I did uh, Steinsdalt's version of the Rebbe. Like uh, how many uh, like how many Rebbe's are there? Uh, everyone obviously has their own version of the Rebbe. But I think uh, a more accurate biography of the Rebbe is it was the Rebbe's own words. The Rebbe was from before he went to Cheder envisioning the Geula. This was, if you want to say, one driving force throughout the Rebbe's whole life. It was the Geula. So much so that when the Rebbe didn't have it, he says, Mashiach is not here yet. In the, you know, the famous Sicha in Peach Nusen, the Rebbe says, all my efforts I've been Lahavovalik to get you guys out of Gullus. The Rebbe was talking to the, you guys are not out of your personal Gullus. You're not getting the job. The whole thing is Lahavovalik. It's not working. If we don't have the Gula, that's that was all. What do you mean? The Rebbe did so many things. Havovalik. You can argue exactly what the Rebbe was saying. Proud to see, and we'll talk about it a different time. But it was it was crazy. Like nothing really. It's all it's all, it's all worth nothing. There was when you have a Chassidus explains when you have a Ratzin. If even one thing is missing from it, you don't have the Ratzin. It's not you can't have ninety nine percent of Ratzin. You either have it, you don't. Other other God other garnished. And and the Rebbe was all about Kula. That's why, you know, people said, okay, you know, you did this. So it's like, okay, so it's great, do more. We're not there yet. You know, we have we have work to do. Do you, do you see the gula here? Then we, we have work to do. It's it, it, it's it's never over. Um Yeah, whenever we finish Rambam, I feel like we should get like a week break to like till we start over again. It's like <laughs> No, you went right, right, right back into it. Um Yeah. And uh, that theme goes through the Rebbe's uh, whole Nesiyah. And you can always find, you know, one of the other things Mashiach does, Yilcham HaKamas Hashem, the Rebbe, like nobody else, is fighting throughout the whole Nesiyah, whatever it was, fighting the wars of Hashem. Uh, famously about Eretz Yisrael and, and the fighting for what's going on there, and and, and Mio Yehudi. And if you just listen to Sikhas, everything coming up from this, you know, oftentimes you don't know what the politics then, but the Rebbe is clearly... Advocating, pleading, begging, screaming, talking, asking to whoever will listen to fix all of the problems in Yiddishkeit. The Rebbe was the one who cared for 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 every single Yid, wherever he may be. It was the Rebbe's responsibility. Everyone else was taking care of their corner of the world. The Rebbe had on his shoulders. I mean, there's no shortage of stories. The weight of the entire Jewish people. The Rebbe is Meishir Abenu, and. Uh, such a dynamic leader like that throughout all of history, at least certainly in recent history, the Rebbe stands out as a real uh, Meshkin Abenu. Um, yeah. yeah. Very interesting. You mentioned you mentioned the Sikha on, on Kayach Nisan and how, how Taka, it, it, it's either all or nothing. It, it, the goal is the Geula. If the Geula is not here, then, then what's the point? Um, Taka Lehev of Larek. And it's very interesting. The Chassid, like, you have a lot of Shluchim, or the majority of Shluchim, the majority of Chassidim also. Like, the, the way they speak is, is, is very, they took that, they took what the Rebbe said to heart. And, and they tried, they tried very hard. That Mashiach is not here, we have to do more. There's obviously more to do if, if, if we don't see the Geula in, in front of our faces. There's obviously more to do if we don't have uh, world peace. There's obviously more that needs to be done if we don't have all these things. And it's 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 actually very inspiring because like, yeah, the, it, we we took that even though for, we don't have we don't have the same drive that the Rebbe had from Yom Halchim Lecheder and and even before that. By the way, that just just those words is 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 telling on on how strong the Rebbe's um, desire for this and want for this was. That what what, what does it mean Yom Halchim Lecheder v'Gam Kain Lecheder like? It means that Yem Halchil Cheder. Officially, before you go to Cheder, you don't really have an education. What's your education? Your education is whatever your parents told you, like stories, the Abrachi here, Abrachi there, whatever your mother gave you. When the Rebbe is saying, from the day I went to Cheder, even before that, it's it's an optimistic thing. That's it was in his very point. essence. Yeah. It was in his very essence. So not all of us have the same desire and the same like oh, drive, like oh, it's all or nothing for the geula. But we all have the same um, um, perspective, which is Mashiach is not here, the geula is not here. We got to do something else. 
Now, not necessarily is going to be a driving force in life, but it's going to be something that we're going to talk about. We're going to discuss, right? Uh, after October 7th happened, everybody was like in a frenzy and and a lot of shlachim and everybody was like, this is, this is, this is either it has got to do, be connected to the geula or it has to be something that, that shakes us to the core to make us do something to bring the geula. We got to do something else. Yeah. And uh, this, in Lubavitch was always, since at least uh, after Yud Shvat, prakocht and obsessed with Geula. And there was always, you know, understood or rumors that the Rebbe, it was assumed by the Chassidim that the Rebbe was Mashiach. I just saw yesterday on Gem a uh, video from Toshim and Vav, a, uh, a TV cast. And uh, the TV reporter said that the Rebbe doesn't have any children, but a lot of people in Chabad are not concerned about this. Because they believe that Rebbe to be Messiah, so it's not going to be. Uh, it's not going to be. It's like a, this is Tashim and Vav. This was uh, it's on Gem. You can see it. This is par for the course. Um, my father says, "Remember growing up, he wasn't Chabad, but uh, yeah, like the, you know, the Lubavitchers were crazy. They, they, they thought that Rebbe was Mashiach. This was obvious. This was understood. The goal of Shlichus, the goal of it all, was always whatever was going to happen. The goal was to bring Mashiach, to bring Geula. That was on everyone's mind." Um, uh, Avram Fried, when he first came to Yossi Green to make his first album, so Yossi Green, you know, tells him, uh, so, you know, so, you know, you want to make songs, what are you all about? What are you, what's your thing? You know, what are we writing songs about? What's the vibe? And he's like, I'm a Lubavitch, I'm a chassid of the Rebbe, so, so what's, what's the Rebbe about? No Jew will be left behind. Like that's that's what it's all about. We're all gonna leave Galus. That was obvious. Like that's that's Lubavitch. That's the Chassid. That's the Rebbe. And uh, yeah. So so this is so we're the last generation of Galus. So the question becomes: So how long? Um, it's, it's been it's been a few years, like they say. So how long? How long is a generation? Uh. No, how long is a generation? So uh, a generation goes by the leader. Uh, this this is this is uh, something that is that there's different opinions, but but generally, uh, the, in, especially in Yiddishkeit, the generation goes by the leader, right? The the, the generation of David Amelech was as long as David was king. The generation of Shlomo Amelech was as long as Shlomo Amelech was king. It could be shorter, it could be longer, but. It's not. It's not about a, a, a specific amount of years. It's about the time period. About who the leader is. So obviously, we're still we're still in the generation. We're still in the same generation. But, but like 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 I said before, when the Rebbe said that the that Achin shall galus, the derishin shall geula, I think, for me, what I see is that it's not two separate generations. Rather, it's the same generation. There has to be some overlap. The Rebbe, his whole thing was to bring the Geula. Bring Mashiach. Have the Geula and bring Mashiach. I think his frustration in Chavchas Nisan was that we've been doing all of this. So many things that we've, that we've done, so many uh, initiatives, so many campaigns, Miftayim, all these things, and still we don't have the Geula. Right, like we said in last episode about the, 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 the what the Alter Rebbe said about why we're still in Golos um, was that the, there's still nitutus that still have to be re, uh, re, refined, elevated. Re, um, elevated, and after we elevate all the sparks, what was it, Lashin? Yavai Mashiach, the Mehedim Minu Amen, and the Yavai Agoyel, Mehedim Minu Amen. I think it was the two Lashinus that he used. Two Lashinus. So, so. I think the frustration was that we've we're working really really hard, right? The the, the Friedrich Rebbe already said that that we've we're 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 up to we we're, we've done everything up to polishing the buttons. I think up to, and then the Rebbe when the Rebbe Chazer those words, the Rebbe said that now we we've already, we have the, already the polished said, the buttons. We've already polished all the buttons, correct? And and um, I think the frustration was that we've had. 
all these things, and we still don't have the geula. We still haven't earned it. We still haven't done everything that we need to do. And and the Rebbe said that what what do we need still left to do? We just need to ask. We need to re- really really want it. The Rebbe said, "I can't make you. Wa- I can't make you want it. You have to really want it. If there should be one, two, three, eight, two, three, well, an action then. They really really want the geula. Really really and, want Mashiach. Yeah, that that line in particular strikes me because and we weren't going to talk about Chalchas Nisim, but I guess it happened. Uh, <laughs> Um, that uh, there's this one, you know, ten people, uh, one, two, three, go, uh, the eights again, what to do, how are we going to do it? Um, so the other thing that can be one, two, or three people will figure it out. You know, everyone imagines it's going to be that there's these, uh, ooh, I, you know, I don't want to talk about uh, um, um, depressing subjects, but I'm sure everyone knows what's going on in Chabad the past, uh, past week and a half. Um, you know, everyone's blaming things on the leaders. You know, point everyone. You know, everyone's pointing to him and him and the leaders. What are the Nabonim doing? What are the Gabayim doing? What are the, 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 the you know, yeah, leaders? I hate I had, Yeah, there are leaders officially, but um, the Rebbe here was, you know, envisioning that it could literally be one, two, or three people that will figure it out and make it happen. Obviously, everyone will take part, but um, it, you know. Not necessarily is it going to be so simple, or the establishment is going to have everything right. It's going to be like the Rebbe was telling all of me, "You don't have it right. You cannot get it. It's not working." What you know, and maybe one, two, or three people will figure it out to make it happen. So no, don't nobody think to quote the Rambam that you can't do it. Says the Rebbe, you can do it. Um, the Rambam says your one action can tip the scales. Like the Rebbe, like the the quote from the Rambam, the power of of one action of one person. You have an idea of something you can do to bring Mashiach, um, something to do to help greet Mashiach. Don't hesitate. You know, everyone figures, you know, there's a plan. It's, there's people, like we said at the beginning, the Rebbe charged every person with the job to uh, to make it happen. And really it comes down to, so, um, really it comes down to, are we, are, are are we going to trust the Rebbe? And, uh, and this is the last star. Mashiach's happening, and, and the Rebbe's for real, and the Rebbe's got a pretty good track record of, of being accurate, even about things that seemed impossible, like the fall of the of the Cold War, and, and uh, the end of the Cold War, the fall of the Iron Curtain, and you know, famously all of the Scuds in, 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 in the Gulf War. And the Rebbe's words came true. Not every single word of the Rebbe came true. So, if the Rebbe told us this is the last generation of Galos, this is the first generation of Gula, whatever it means, however long it takes, we 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 can't give up. Either it, uh, either the Rebbe is real and it's true, and we have a mission, and nothing changed, and uh, we have work to do. Um. Or or or, or etc. And uh, I was I won't articulate the other option. And uh, even if you have doubts, sometimes you know it's been so long, it's so hard. It's thirty years after Gimel Tamos. If the Rebbe was ever the Rebbe, and, and and you know, and and obviously the Rebbe is, then we have to take him seriously. And uh, his words ring as true today as uh, as they ever did. Yeah, definitely. It's that's something we have to definitely be uh, misbeining on on where where we where we stand on that, and um, yeah. So we were going to talk about how we made big progress in this regard as of Parshas Neach, but uh, um, it's probably not going to be enough time in this episode. So that'll have to be next episode, maybe. Um. Um, unless you have anything uh, anything else to add on the subject. Um, no. Okay. I think, so... I, think I think you said it very well. You said it very well. That, uh, either 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 the Reb is real and true and and MS and and we're we're we still we gotta get on the train. Like uh, what what's the uh, Shemekinen? No, he said to yeah. the lawyer. He says to you, the you Jewish have... Federation. 
You have three options. You can, you can, you can get, you can get, you can, uh, you can move, get off the tracks and move aside. That's fine. You could, uh, you could hop on my train and uh, enjoy me. That, that's, that's also fine. Or you can stay on the tracks and I'll run you over. That's, that's also fine. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Pick, pick, pick one. You got, but, but you have to pick a lane. You got, you have to pick something, and um, whatever lane you get on, go strong. So we are wishing everyone at Slacha their their good shvat, and uh, we shall have um, Achdos and Chabad, and then the, um, and uh, and Avos Yisrael, and that will uh, lead to the Golden Bridges of Ashlema with the Rebbe of Galus. Uh, take us from Mamish. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Leave a, let us know any questions, comments, or concerns. And um, yeah, Mashiach now. Mashiach now. We had to the car, and the dog go home, and the arms will make you sign. You see, I'm never.